Top five communication tips. Our third tip is to say as much as you can in layman's terms. That includes the things that you ask your nurse to jot down when you're charting. If you put yourself in the patient's shoes for a minute and sit in a dental chair, all vulnerable with your mouth open, you start to feel a whole load of anxiety not knowing what's going on. A lot of patients relate to the concept of going to the dentist and hearing a lot of random numbers and letters and they don't understand what this means. Instead of saying upright seven DO amalgam sound, you can say upright seven DO silver filling, which is healthy. Or if it's not sound, you can say upright seven do broken silver filling which needs replacing. This way the patient has less anxiety because they understand what's happening during their checkup and they'll be less surprised when you set them up and tell them your findings. Hearing words like healthy tooth or healthy filling also acts as a positive reinforcement as the patient feels as though they are being praised for taking good care of their teeth and fillings. It's a small change that adds to the patient's overall experience and they feel like they can communicate much more easily with you. Make sure you give the video a like and subscribe and share it with your other colleagues so they can learn as well.